Hi Taurus, welcome. Golden Empress Collection here, and this is going to be your October reading. It, this is going to be timeless, by the way. It's a love, money, and career, but it's also really kind of centering around this uh, partial eclipse with the new moon um, that is sitting in Scorpio. Plus, we also have Venus that's playing a very, very large part in everyone's life right now. So again, let's look at love and see what's going to happen. I also feel like for some of you guys, you feel like there's someone lurking, you know, or there's a an, an energy of lurking. So it could be you, it could be a, your other person. So let's just see. The chariot energy and then the four of wands. So it's a relationship that you find special, someone you consider family right? You might live with this particular person or you're planning on marriage with this person. Um, there's a need or a rush or a choice to choose this particular person when it comes to love. I think you really, you give to this person. Maybe you're the giver in the relationship. Could also be that. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Taurus. Getting to where you want to be is also what I'm picking up. I think that whatever it is, this person that you've met, at some point in time, you said to yourself, this is everything that I want, right? But remember I told you about that lurking energy that's there? That's because someone sees the deception. Someone sees something and doesn't feel quite right about whatever this Four of Swords is. Four of Swords, again, is that Venus energy I told you about. And it's almost like maybe there's been some sort of communication or there's been a couple of things regarding other people that have happened that are making you kind of wonder, is this what I really think it is or is this a bunch of hooey? Is this a bunch of baloney is what I'm picking up on, okay? And for some of you guys, you don't even like baloney. And the fact that you don't like baloney is making this even more irritating for you, all right? Because you know that whatever this is, it's an intentionally deliberate thing. Here's the other thing. Some of you guys could have a third party energy that's around you that communicates with you in a way that causes friction between you and your other person. They do it on purpose is what I'm thinking with this Four of Swords. Um, and it's almost like, I don't know, you know, because here you are here. You should be unfazed. You should be unbothered. But there's something here. Let's see what this Ten of Cups is. Moving towards your happiness only to find out that someone was not telling you the truth. Some of you guys could be breaking up with someone, um, not realizing that it's coming, but it, it is actually coming very soon here. So again, it could be going with the eclipse energy of where there's a love factor here that makes somebody realize that it was more crumbing than anything. You know, and if crumbs were the only plan that someone wanted to really bring to you, it's, it's too much for you to deal with, you know. Again, this Venus energy really triggering somebody saying, am I dealing with a karmic? You know, you, you actually have to question yourself because you really do love this person. You text this person all the time. You do. And sometimes you realize that there's always a pause in between whatever it is that you've got going on. As the holidays begin to approach, I think this is why your reading's coming out a little bit later in October. I think you need to start making plans for this person to go ghost. Yeah. There's someone else around. There's someone else around. Or this person is making plans to ghost other people so that they can be with you during the holidays. It's I, The internet has a lot to do with this. You know, I did see an Aquarian vibration that came out right before um, I started your, leading, your reading. And so what it made, what it made me think of was the option for you to say, yes, you can have your wish fulfillment. You can have peace and blessings. You can have abundance, but you have to learn to uh, strive. You have to learn to be quiet when you're supposed to be quiet and to see the things that you need to see. Some of you guys, this is picking up a newspaper. I'm also saying that whatever it is that um, you thought was going to be happening, it didn't happen the way you wanted it to, and then you read about it in the paper later is what I'm seeing here. So I'm... I'm not sure what that represents for you guys, but it's definitely a new opportunity. Mm. 
Taurus, I'm actually, yeah, it's interesting because I'm hearing that even though you care for this person the way that you do, and for some of you guys, this might even be a child that's telling you that they're getting married and you don't want that to happen. You're thinking about the fact that this person still has a lot to do or you're really, you know, kind of ruminating on some of the things that have happened in the past. I, I also see for some of you guys, and, and Taurus, I'm sorry if this is you, but there's someone that you love deeply. And I mean deeply. And you come to find out that this person has done something that has taken from you or taken from whatever wish fulfillment it was that you thought you were going to have with this person. Um, it could come in the form of some sort of documentation here. And I feel like for some of you guys, it might irritate you a little bit. It might. But I also know that with this Four of Swords here and that Three of Swords we saw, there's karma that's sitting behind it. So you really have to reflect on some of the things that happened in the past right now, okay? And it's going to explain why your relationship is going the way that it's going, 555 five, five on the phone as I say that. So unexpected, shocking tower moment here. And Taurus, I, if it really messes with you, it's when I say unexpected, there's going to be a Uranus vibration that's behind it. Like you do not see this coming. Changing paperwork is kind of what I'm picking up here. Okay. Um, I also know that somebody is going to try to marry here or somebody finds out that someone else gets married. Maybe it was the person that you had in mind that you had wishes and hopes for. Yeah. And now you're in regret because somebody waited too long to say, yes, I do want to come back together with you. Yes, I do want to um, be a part of your life. Okay. But somebody had options here is, is kind of what I feel. And instead of, you know, sitting down and pinpointing and saying, yes, you are the person that I want to be with. I want to make plans for this union and marriage. Somebody just kind of kept, you know, the cycle going on um, and looking towards or possibly traveling with other people, doing things with other people. For some of you guys, this is kind of the scenario when someone comes home as well and finds another per their significant other in bed with someone else. I do see that. Um, so be very careful with that. Again, I know that you were loyal to this particular person, but the cheating will be exposed. Okay. Um, Unfortunately, and I don't know why this person felt like they could have this person in your home, but again, remember, it's a past energy. If this has already happened to you, it's past. You know the red flags and the things to look for when it comes to people that don't appreciate you, people that only want to be in a sexual relationship with you when they're really supposed to be treating you you know, and, and giving you everything. They're supposed to be providing you with everything it is that you want and, and bringing harmony and freedom, but there's this delay. And they sit in this vibration where you can pick it up, right? You sense it, you feel it, and you know that there's some sort of crumbing aspect because of the third party there, okay? Now, here's the other thing. Some of you guys, if, if you chose to go back and have a conversation with somebody, okay, because there is a loyalty there. There was a friendship of some sort there. I don't necessarily think that you're going to get the truth. I don't think that anybody, I don't know if someone trusts someone here or if you should be trusting whoever it is that you're having this conversation with. It might be a male in this particular case. Um, and here's the other thing. Some of you guys might receive communication. And what I would suggest is not doing something out of spite. So if you have someone that comes back from your past and they need something or there's, you know, something that needs to be done, don't delay this person. Don't make this person wait. And the reason that I say that is because judgment will be upon you if you do. And it could be for the other person as well. I've been thinking to myself, it has something to do with the Venus, okay, and Pluto vibration right here. Because, I mean, I know a lot of people see judgment as Scorpio, yes, but it also holds a Pluto vibration. So an ending, needing to understand why Mars behaves in the way that it does, right? But to an extreme. Okay, anything else with this Ace of Wands and the five, and the Four of Wands? I was going to say Five of Wands here. And then you have Six and Seven. So you can protect yourself, right? 
I, I feel like you, if you sense whatever this is with this contemplating energy right here, if you sense a vibration of wickedness, lies, deceit, um, don't wait. Don't wait to try to get it away from you. Please don't. Somebody, I also, yeah, I just, I was thinking to myself, there also could be an energy here where there's like a breaking and entering. Uh, again, it could have been something that happened from the past. You are now receiving some sort of information about how all of that is going to be working out. Your day-to-day -day will be changed in some way, shape, or form. If this is a the situation where you truly love somebody and you have a third party that's like with your other person, the other the third party on the outside is a stalker. The police will be involved because this is going to be someone that possibly tries to come to your home. This is going to be someone that is upset that the relationship has ended the way that it did. They want this romance to continue on and they're disappointed, right? They're disappointed that it, it didn't work in their favor with this three of cups. It didn't last and stay in a, a vibration of let me tell you I love you all over again, right? Someone is definitely trying to manifest. If you walked away from something because of deception, this so this person also wants to come back around you. And I told you, there's the star card. They could be spying on you on the internet. They're looking for you. They expect you to be loyal to them, okay? Taurus energy, you guys kind of have it pretty tough here in regards to love, I see. So let's look at your money. You have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's look at your money, Taurus. And this reading comes out. Again, it's timeless. I told you. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Somebody wants to know what it is that you're doing. Again, quick communication. This is also going to be issues surrounding home and family. Again, other people trying to get a piece of your pie for some of you guys is what I'm hearing. So that could be robbers. That could be a stalker. And when I say robbers, I'm talking about um, thieves, like people that try to break into your home. Okay. Yeah. So, and what I'm being shown is I'm being shown a minivan pulling up inside of a gate. Like they, they're calculated with it, whoever that is. For some of you guys, when it comes to your money, someone else is literally watching your money. Some of you need to be watching the stock market here. I told you, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And this is not the everything is fine card in this deck because everything is not fine. You have someone deceptive around you, someone that's planning on causing you, you harm and conflict. Also, I'm, what I'm also picking up here is information regarding your finances. A lot of people are sitting here waiting on some sort of refund or not even a refund, but um, it's, a, it's a credit, you know, for... What do they call that? Student loans? I see that you will be successful. You will see information about that. Even though somebody, you know, tried to harm you, it will eventually end. And then we come out with the everything is fine card here. Okay. So at some point that will move into um, a future state. It won't be delayed for long. Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands. I like the fact that you are opening yourself up to a new opportunity as well, to new financial opportunity. Maybe this is going to be new stocks. It could have to do with something that has to do with air. Um, so it might be communication. It might be storage of some sort. It's going to be extremely lucrative for you. Um, if you are going through some sort of um, legal battle here, I see success with that legal battle. It's a financial success in court. Uh, you're going to hear about some sort of communication, but again, remember, there is some sort of deception that sits behind this because you have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. You have it again twice, not only in your love, but you also have it in your money section, okay? So I, I'm thinking of Mars again. Remember I told you about that judgment energy? Let's see how this plays out, okay? Because I know that there's karma that's coming through here. Some of you guys, Taurus, is I'm thinking that some of you guys have done something bad. Not all of you, though, okay? And because here's the uh, Page of Pentacles again. And so whatever it is that's transitioning during this eclipse season, it gives you the opportunity to change your perspective, right? It's like maybe you did something or you took charge of something where it was meant to, you know, just be happy for you, but other people don't look at it that way. It caused uh, grief and stress and trauma and drama, right? 
And so now someone has manifested this whole new thing where you really should be on the defense here. I want to say to you, if this hasn't happened already or it's something that happened in the past, it's just a reminder not to be foolish. Or if you were foolish, I wouldn't go down that road again. Okay, especially when it comes to your money, when it comes to love, do not allow anyone to trick you into something. Um, again, we have a third party energy, especially if they have a third party energy around them. Now, this could also be reunion celebration. This is a very positive vibration at the bottom here. You could have a Sagittarius. You could have a um, another fixed energy. Uh, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio could also be yourself, but you're making the choice here when it comes to other people. You choose the vibration that you want. You choose whether or not you share this loving vibration. Some of you guys, I'm hearing the big payback. So take that as it resonates. Yeah. If you were loyal in something, if you stepped up, if you gained respect, after a whole very dramatic situation, then that's the right thing to do with this King of Wands coming out. I think your money is going to um, grow for you in some way, shape, or form with the Page of Pentacles moving into the King of Pentacles. You will have stability here. Um, I think that for some of you guys, you might end up with more than what you expected, okay? It's kind of a good luck opportunity, and then once you receive that, you'll move forward. Um, just this page of swords i want to know about who's watching your money though who is this because there's a sagittarian energy again look it's someone that you have um a very intimate relationship with because you have the ace of wands here again too um yeah and i, I just i think to myself whoever it is that's watching your money is watching you and how happy you are they're watching you step into something positive blessed and brand new but I, I just, I don't know if they're planning on stealing from you or if they're upset with you and want you to pay a price for something that was done in the past. Okay. I feel like as long as you stay in the just energy, you will do very well. You will be successful and you'll be able to move forward. Um, I also think that if, if there is something that's stolen from you, if there's something that is like a value that's taken from you, you will get it back. You will end up in some sort of happy um situation okay and it's it's not going to last too long it's going to come and go okay it might be you know you see that somebody gives you too much money right and so you give that person their money back that in itself is setting up dharma to come back around so that you end up in a solid and secure foundation where your blessed energy continues to come through Okay, so whatever it is that you're valuing right now, I see it consistently and staying, you know, the same. I do, but be on the lookout what other people would want to take from you. Okay, so the Eight of Cups in this is also going to say that once you do realize, you know, your goal, you will be transitioning into something new, I believe. You have a few cards of moving here, transition. You could also be paying um, for a home is also what I'm thinking. You might be moving home. Now you also have the magician here at the bottom of the deck again. So again, your everyday life coming into focus here, being able to maintain, being able to handle your bills on an everyday basis, okay? If you're choosing to take trips, then you will be able to take trips, okay? Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and then I saw the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, just don't let ego get in the way of whatever it is that you're trying to do or you're trying to manifest here. Because I feel like you're very, very powerful. And every time you do something, you have the ability to work things through. You know what's useful to you and what's not. Okay? Yes. Yeah, so All right. So the Page of Wands just came out with the Nine of Wands. This is going to be your career aspect. Fire sign energy. So fire sign, seeing that this could be someone who, it's not an intern. Okay, I don't see intern. What I see is someone that works in a medical facility. So you might be like a heart specialist in some way. Um, yeah, you are. Okay, because there's a lot of death around it. There's a lot of, um, you know, anger over the way that your system is currently working right now. You know, Taurus, I'm not sure what's happened, but there's some sort of struggle. You might be dealing with the youth as well because you have the difference between the Page of Wands and this Nine of Wands. So there might be someone that's younger than you that's around you that's really going through a hard time. Some of you guys, I'm hearing an energy of like demon baby, okay? I don't know how this reflects for you if you're just having a hard time homeschooling or something, but 
the fact that someone thinks that someone's a demon baby here is off the chain. All right, Capricorn energy, again, is reputation. You are about success. You are about stepping into something, but the, the environment you work in, for some of you guys, I'm hearing towers. Like you work in, in a very tall, high-rise type of building. It's a toxic environment. It's completely toxic. A lot of the company, I, I feel I'm seeing to myself, a lot of the company floors have left because there's a lot of people that are remote, but that's not the case. You still have quite a few people that work in this structure, okay? Some of you guys, I need you to be careful because I feel like there's something where you need to put your boundaries up. Mm -hmm. And on the day where you feel like you're not supposed to go to work, do not go to work. I see that this is an energy of where someone could be harmed. Okay, truth at the bottom of the deck. Someone has an opinion here, right? And because their opinion is something that weighs them down, then they're really going round and round in their head about how they're going to do something here, okay? And I feel like it ends in an ending. See this ending that we have here? Yeah, some of you guys, what I'm picking up with this as far as career is concerned, you could have a friend that's very weighed down, very heartbroken that maybe they lost their job, something like that. You guys need to report it if you feel like this person is going to come, come back and cause harm. You feel like someone is causing harm on the job, report it immediately. You will be saving the lives of multiple people, okay? And again, hermit energy again, sixth house. Where can you put your um, self so that you are helping a situation, right? It's of service. This is you going within, not allowing people to come in and here and harm you. For some of you guys, I feel like there's things that you have done for other people on the job and realizing lately that it has not been reciprocated, okay? I think that you put in prayer work all the time with this Sagittarian energy. And as long as you stay consistent with that, you will continue to manifest positive vibrations here. You know, that you know your life will have purpose, that your life will be useful, okay? So go ahead and go within with this hermit energy right now and don't think too long about it though. If you know that there's someone who's around you that wants to cause some sort of harm, you need to report it. Some of you guys report it to the authorities here, okay? Um, here's the other thing. Your wish fulfillment comes true. Some of you guys, I see you stepping into a new position. You could be at a lower level. Um, they didn't treat you right. You know, you felt like there was always something there where they could have done better by you because you were an excellent employee. So you've gone ahead and decided to make the change. You've decided to, you know, step into something new and abundant, you know, world travel, maybe taking a job overseas here, Taurus, and, and that's good for you, okay? It's going to be a good, healthy change for you. And again, it's going to set you into a situation where you're feeling better about yourself as well as getting everything it is that you want. That Five of Cups energy that other people try to put you in, that's not meant for you to own. Okay, that's a Mars conflict. It's just something that continuously triggers you. Um, and right now, I'm just thinking to myself, it's no longer needed, right? With the Capricorn energy that you have here that was, you know, underlying, your career is going to go in a positive direction. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. You make me smile. I really appreciate you. Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. There is a Vimeo extended link to this, and we're going to discuss you and your other person and all the good juicy tidbits that need to come out. So that's in the description box below, and I'll see you guys when we go live. Guardian Angel Messages is also there for you too. Peace and elbow grease.